Hi everyone and welcome to our Sculpt Yoga practice. Now for those of you who haven't been to one of our Sculpt classes before, then I want you to kind of think of this as being more exercise based. We're going to work a lot towards strength. We're going to use breath and we are going to focus on alignment as with all yoga practices. But today is about really working them with the muscle groups, getting the heart rate to lift and kind of enjoying the little bit of practice, enjoying that kind of feeling of challenge and strength that will pass through the body. As always, it's always important to really centre us, make sure that we feel really relaxed and really calm and we can focus the mind on our practice then. So to do that, first of all, what I want you to do is just relax everything off, roll the shoulders, kind of move the fingertips, really try to open the body up. Feel free to bend and twist to either side. If you're taking part in the practice and it's early morning, you're gonna have just got out of bed, so you feel all kind of tight and wound up from sleep. If you're practicing with us and it's later on in the day, you'll have probably taken on lots of the stresses and lots of the environmental stuff that goes on around us. Stress from family, stress from life, stress from work, sat in poor postural positions as well. So the body's gonna be all kind of closed in and inhibited. We wanna free that up. You know, with our sculpt practice, it's all about freeness and flowing and movement and just kind of feeling really good through a lot of the practice. So I want you to start with that now. So just keep rolling the shoulders, just begin to relax them off. And then we can, as we said, just stoop to one side, then the other, and even gentle twists as well. Nothing too vigorous, it's not momentous, it's not, sorry, momentum based. It's not using or swinging the body into any uncomfortable positions. It's just nice and relaxed rolling them up. And then what I want us to do is centre the body. So let's lift the toes, and then starting with the little toe, begin to press them down into the mat one at a time, and really stretch the sole of the foot across the surface of the floor. Next, I want you to begin to lock the knees out. Don't worry about squeezing or tensing the thighs. Just lock the knees out, straighten the legs. Instantly, you'll feel the thighs begin to ignite. Next, we've done this many times before, we're going to kind of roll the pelvis just to make sure we curl the tailbone under. So if we draw the tummy in, and if we look towards my back now, we can curl the tailbone under, and we can see there that my spine's straight, follows its normal curve and S-shape, but the tummy's hollowed and strengthened. Then we're going to open fingertips, and I'm going to root those down to the mat. So don't allow shoulders to lift, really root the fingertips down. Think of almost the fingertips as being vines that are going to be rooted into the earth. Then, I want us to roll the shoulder blades back, sink them, bow our head a little, and then place our tongue behind our top row of teeth, and then focus on breath. What I want us to do is take a deep breath in as we breathe in, push the air deep into the belly and flood the belly and allow it to open. Breathe out, we can hollow the tummy and draw the belly button tight to the spine. Breathe in, flood air into the belly. And as we breathe out, hollow the tummy, draw it tight to the spine. So let's do that three or four times. So breathe in for four, three, flood down to the belly, two, one, hold breath, and then breathe out. Six, five, four, three, two, hollow. Breathe in, flood down to the belly, three, two, one. Breathe out, six, five, four, three, two, hold breath. Keep our eyes closed for our final few breaths. Really try to visualize and focus on that movement through the belly as it swells. And breathe out, hollow the tummy. Allow the air to escape. And we're still extending through the knees. We're still searching through fingertips. Final breath in. And breath out. Hands into prayer. Okay, let's begin our sculpt practice. Remember, think of this as freeness of movement. Send heart rate up, welcome the strength, welcome the challenge. Work, work, you know, don't try to worry too much about alignment. Try not to tense and try not to be too fixated. Think of just constantly moving, flowing, because you're kind of feeling really free with it. Okay, so palms into prayer. Let's open by our side to mountain pose. Breathe in, reach up. And as we breathe out, open palms, forward fold. As we forward fold, I want you to bend the knees a little. Place belly onto thighs. And then breathe in, look forward. Breathe out, hollow the tummy, deep forward fold. Breathe in, look forward. And then root both palms to the mat. We're going to step our left leg back first. Lower down to the left knee and draw the arms back. Open palms, reach them into the air, search fingertips. And then frame the foot. As we look forward, roll over the back toe for a breath in. 
Breathe out, step forward, hollow the tummy. Look forward, breathe in, and then step the right leg back. And again, lower to the knee. Search the fingertips back, open palms. Reach high into the air, but push the hips forward. Search, catch our balance. Frame the foot. Again, roll over the back toe, breathe in. Breathe out, hollow the tummy, step forward. Breathe in, look forward. Left leg steps back, lower down to the left knee. And again, return to that crescent lunge. But this time, hands into prayer over heart. And then a gentle twist. Left elbow across that right knee. We can look over the right shoulder. Take a breath. I want you to reach up to the crescent lunge. Search. Frame the foot. Step over back toe and step forward. Hollow the tummy. Again, breathe in, straighten the spine. Step back. Lower down to the knee. Draw the arms back. Open palms into the air. Hands into prayer. And then, then take up that little twist. Look over the shoulder. You can catch the balance. Breath. Reach. Frame the foot. Now this time we're going to step all the way back to down dog. And into down dog, what we're going to do is pedal and sway. So down dog, his hips into the air. And again, think of that freeness of movement. Gently opening up through the spine, through the heels. And then hold into down dog breath. We're going to step the right leg forward. Draw the arms back. Open to our crescent lunge. And for those who've joined us in Sculpt before, you'll know this expression, this fist of fire, where we kind of focus on lifting fire, breath and strength, that internal fire we talk about through yoga. And we want it to draw on that kind of emotion. So breathe in, lower the body. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, reach. Return to crescent lunge. Search fingertips. Press the back heel behind us. Left hand down onto the earth. Search the fingertips of the right hand high into the air. And again, try to sink the hips. So you've got a big revolved lunge there. Root the palm down. Let's step back to that down dog. And then just pedal and sway. And let's begin to flow now. So we go to Chaturanga. And then to our up dog where we take a breath in. Down dog, breath out. We go to plank, to Chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. And we go to plank, Chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. One final time, we go to plank, Chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Okay, float left heel in the air and step that forward. And let's open, just adjust myself, to that crescent lunge and then those fists of fire. Breathe in lower, breathe out, search. Breathe in lower, breathe out, search. Breath in lower, breath out, search. Now as we go back to our crescent lunge, right hand down onto the mat, left hand opens us up. It's that big twist, that revolved lunge. Open the body, sink the hips. Try to release through the hip a little bit, through the hip flex as well. So we search, take that breath. Left hand floats down, step back to our down dog. And again, we pedal first. I want you to release the heels. And now let's flow, plank. Chaturanga, up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out, plank, <coughs> Chaturanga, up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out, and plank, Chaturanga, up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out. Let's step both feet forward, and we're going to go through a series of chairs now, really challenging this. So look forward, breathe in, breathe out, hollow the tummy. Breathe in, look forward, and a chair or powerful pose is where we're going to kind of sink hips, search fingertips behind us, and then we're going to try to align. So I'll show you a little bit from a change of angle. Sink your hips down, search the fingertips high, try to align hands, shoulders, and hips into the bar. Then we're going to reach to our back bend, breath into prayer. We're going to take a big twist. Left elbow across that right knee again. Take a breath, stand. So these become almost like mini squats for us. Prayer, take that twist. Big twist, breath, stand, and again, prayer, twist. Yes, big twist, push through heels, stand. And now we should begin to feel the thighs begin to warm. So we feel that little bit of strength, little bit of tension, reach. 
Okay, hands to prayer. Open to mountain pose. Breathe in, breathe out, and just let everything go. Root palms, step both feet back. This time as we hold into plank, I want you to float the right heel, chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. We go to plank, float the left heel, chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Let's go to plank and let's begin to sweep the right hand into the air. Reach high, open to that big side plank. Return to plank, chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. So remember it's all about freeness of movement, challenge of strength, left hand floats in the air. So we're now beginning to break the shoulders, the obliques, the core's beginning to engage more and more with each passing flow. Down dog, breath out. Step both feet forward and let's return to those chair poses. Breathe in, breathe out hollow tummy. Breathe in, open palms, sink to a chair, breath, back bend, prayer, twist, sink. So these remember are almost like little mini squats. So we need to sink the hips down, reach for our breath, reach us, prayer, step once more, big twist, and reach, open, so we should be feeling the body growing, we're feeling it to begin to open, so we're not becoming inhibited by this flow, but we're becoming empowered, strengthened by the flow, prayer, big twist, reach to back bend, prayer, mountain pose, let's get that flow, breath in, and breath out, let go. Boot both palms, step back, and let's return to right heel float, chaturanga, up dog, breath in, down dog, now begin to push through palms, you know, lengthen the heels, left heel floats, we have that breath, we have the nice chaturanga, and then we go, right hand floats into the air, reach as high as we can, frame the foot, chaturanga, up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out, beautiful flow, plank, Left hand floats in the air, reach, push, search, plank, chaturanga. Up dog, breath in. This time we go to child's pose. And just gently begin to sway a little. Okay, we're going to crawl both hands up. And then we're going to fold our feet through. And let's begin to move to our final seated routine. And we're going to really strengthen the bodies which we can. So for our final seated routine, we're going to kind of draw on some Pilates exercises too. And we're going to kind of fuse these two together to create this sculpting, holistic workout. So, first of all, what we're going to do is kind of just slowly round the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, hollow the tummy, roll us down. And then what I want to do is float the feet into the air. Now, very important, press your lower spine down into the mat. Chin stays out of chest, we're going to hollow the tummy and we're going to press for a hundred times. So palms down and we press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift a little higher. One, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Higher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift up. Make sure chin's up. Nine, ten. Fifty on this one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Three, four, five, lift up. Seventy, keep lifting up, chin out of chest. Keep going for me. Eighty, really push those palms down. And we should now feel the core begin to activate for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hug the knees and sit up, sit the spine tall. Really good, right. Now let's bring in our boat exercise. So for boat, we're just gonna sit tall. What happens with boat, and you can see from my posture, we begin to round. So what I wanna do is sit us nice and tall, press seat bones down into the mat. We have that breath. Now what we're gonna try and do is take hold of knees, float feet in the air, then to our salute. Sink hips, point toes, round the spine, take a breath in. As we breathe out, we lift, take hold of knees, place them down, sit tall. So we keep resetting posture quite a lot. Keep holding knees, float them up. Hands, separate. Strength through belly, breath, and lift. Hold the knees, place the heels, sit taller. So we're always getting that realignment of spine. Float the heels, hands, extend, sink, strength, 
and we squeeze, knees, cross over heels, palms rooted, step back, let's just roll the hips, roll those hips, okay, let's finish off our final flow, roll over toes, down dog, let's go to plank, chaturanga, up dog, breath in, down dog, breath out, really beautiful flow, step the right leg forward, let's return to that big twist lunge, just to help the body open up a little bit more, search, have that breath. Root the palm down onto the mat. Place the left heel and open the body to our warrior two. Stay there. Stay nice and tall. So in warrior two, I'm going to hold you into warrior two. Warrior two is a strength posture. It's often the, the warrior postures are their kind of philosophy that they're based around. is the kind of the war on suffering. Great uh, battle within the Hindu religion and the Buddhist religion, sorry where we talk about this, and this is what we kind of want you to hold on to within this posture. So it's about strength, but it's about the strength of fighting against the oppression. So it's a powerful, nice, but uplifting feeling. So when we say warrior, often we can think of war and suffering and things like that. What we want to try and gain from this is strength, power, but in a good way, in an uplifting way, an encouraging way. So let's sink the hips. Sit the right knee over the heel. Draw the shoulder blades back and just breathe. Just stay there. What we want to make sure is that the right knee sat over the second toe. Hands haven't begun to wander. And we relax the shoulders. We're relaxed. Breath. Thigh begins to feel it. Heart begins to lift. Frame the foot. Let's step back to plank. To Chaturanga. Up dog breath. Let's just have three flows here. Really open. Loosen the body. Very expressive. And we go. And we go, left heel steps forward, that big twist, that revolved lunge, open it, breath, sink, just allow us to search, allow us to open, breathe, step down, right heel placed onto the ground, and let's windmill up to our warrior two, sink, once again, kind of relax, don't allow the spine to drift forward, Sit as nice and tall. Try to open the chest and the arms as much as we can. And just breathe. Just make sure both hands are settled. Welcome that feeling of strength through the shoulders, through the thigh. Search and open the toes. Make sure this right leg extends. Don't allow it to buckle. Final few breaths. And frame the foot. Step back and let's flow. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Bend both knees. Step forward. Look forward, take a breath in. As we breathe out, hollow the tummy. And just feel that gentle release. Breathe in, look forward, open palms. Reach to our back bend. Breath to prayer. And let's do that again. Open palms. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, just let the body go. Hollow the tummy. Breathe in, look forward. Open palms. Reach all the way to our back bend. Prayer. Open to mountain pose. Breathe in, breathe out, bow the head, final time, breathe in, open palms, back bend, prayer, let's lower down to knees. So as we begin practice, let's end in a similar fashion, helping to try and realign the body one final time. Now to do that, what I want us to do is bring our knees together, we can just sit onto heels, I mean this is a really good introduction to our sculpt sequences and we have more challenging, tougher sculpt sequences, going into press ups, going into lunges, going into crunches. But today's a great way to introduce yourself to it. But as we said right at the start, as well as that kind of freeness and flow in motion, it's important that we align the body and let's end in that way. So we end with that calmness and stillness. So what you do is thighs placed together, sit onto heels, and then we're gonna press our seat bones down into heels, hollowing the tummy, allowing the lower spine to erect. We drop the shoulders and pull them back. Right hand placed over our left. Sink the shoulders down and then just breathe. Just breathe and breathe and breathe. So now what I want us to do is to return to that breath we had at the start. So we're going to take a deep breath in, flood over into the belly. Breathe out, hollow the tummy tight. Breathe in, flood over into the belly. Breathe out, hollow the tummy tight. Now close your eyes, focus again for me. Breathe in, flood over into the belly. Breathe in. Breathe out and it hollows, calms, tightens. 
final breath in, Lord, there into the belly. And as we breathe out, relax the shoulders. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully we will see you again in one of our yoga classes soon. Take care.